we'll be doing a complete tutorial of the Shopify Forms app. Before I dive into it, I want to say if you're looking for a Shopify theme built to make you more money, packed with 20 plus conversion boosting features that boost sales in any niche, make sure you check out my very own theme called Conversion King, where you can save up to $1,944 a year on app subscriptions. There's a link for it in the description below, and it comes with a foolproof 60-day money-back guarantee, so click the link in the description below. So if you don't have it installed already, you can find it on the Shopify App Store under Shopify Forms. Once you're there, we can click Install, and then we'll be brought to this screen here once you've accepted the permissions. And so right now, I've just pinned this to the app section on the left-hand side, side and let's go about creating our first form and getting it to show up on our Shopify store. So first I'll click create form here. We're going to get two options to create one. We can either create a pop-up or an inline form. I'm going to start with a pop-up form and I'll just call this form one. Let's hit create here. It's super easy to use. There's not a lot of settings we can customize and it's going to be independent for each form. So let's go through each of these settings one by one. So first up, we get a decision on how we want this pop-up to display. Do we want it floating in the bottom left or the bottom center, or do we want it to overlay the entire page? Personally, I'm going to pick the overlay here as it's going to make it super visible for the user. Next up, we get the teaser section. And so this is going to happen based on this condition here. So it's going to be before the form shows up or before the form and if the customer closes the form. And by default, it's going to be if the customer closes the form without subscribing. We get a preview of this in the top right here. We can change the title for this as well. And so I'm going to set this up with a discount code. So I'm just going to say get 10% off. And I'm going to show this if the customer closes the form without subscribing. So let's move on to the form itself. So first up, we can set the title. So it could be sign up now and get 10% off. I'll leave this as a default for complete the form. Actually, I will add get 10% off to keep it in line with the above. Next up, we get fields on the information the form user can fill out. So by default, we're requiring the first name and the email. We can add additional fields here by clicking add new field. It can be a phone number, a brand new field, such as a single line text, where we can start something from scratch. You can also get file upload options, date options. It's really just going to depend on what you're looking for. We could also set this to a company and customer by default. So the user has to enter the company name as well as their first and last name and their email. I'll just leave this as the company and customer, make it a little more complex and then the button label. So it's gonna be the text here in the button. I'll just leave as submit and I'll leave the consent disclaimer below with its default text. Next up, we get success confirmation behavior. So whether we want to redirect them to another page. So this could be another link on your Shopify store. Maybe it's a place to get the discount code. We could also show a message as well is the title here. I can also preview this by clicking the preview button. I can see it here. I can say, thank you. Your discount code is new customer 10 or whatever code you possibly have set up. You could bold this as well by clicking the bold button. And so that's the default content setup. We're going to set up beforehand the overall pop-up as well as the success message. The next option to set up is the styling. So we can customize the colors. So let's say I want the background to be black instead. I can change the text color to white and I could change the button color maybe to a bright red though it's super visible. We could also change the form fields. Maybe I want them to be transparent and we can customize the font as well. And I would just recommend matching it to your Shopify store. Next up, we can also add an image as well, maybe a background image or an image left. I'm going to have no image for now. We also get customization on the behavior. So where we want this form to show up, maybe on all pages or maybe specific pages, we can filter here by different collections, pages, articles, and so on. I'm going to set it to all pages on all devices. We can also set it to show the form when the visitors attempt to leave on desktop. So it's typically if a person hovers over and outside the window. And we can have a delay here. So let's say we want the pop-up to show 20 seconds after the customer has opened our store. We can send notifications here for each submission of this form. And so these are sent to the store owner, which is yourself. So you can get notified when people are, I'll just leave this as off here. This could be more relevant if you're maybe collecting quotes or something like that if you're a bigger business that does wholesale. So I can hit save in the top here to save these changes. If we have the Shopify Flow app installed as well, we can set up automations for welcoming new subscribers as well as updating the checkout settings based on the company setup. So once we save our form here, we need to make sure that the app embed is now enabled on our Shopify store. So by default, you should get a alert message on top that's gonna to redirect you to the online store. So your Shopify theme settings, load the app embed section. If it's not there for any reason, if you were to head to online store on the left-hand side, 
and then go to customize for your currently installed theme, head to app embeds on the left hand side, and then toggle this on as well. And to save this, I'll click save in the top right. And I can see my form here. And just like that, we've set up Shopify forms with the overlay pop-up. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. And that's where our sponsored profit calc comes in, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. Once set up, all you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations, including everything from your ad spend, cost goods sold, transaction fees, and much more. It aggregates everything in one place so you can make smarter business decisions as you have a true understanding of your store profit. It syncs seamlessly with all your favorite ad platforms from Meta, which includes Facebook and Instagram, Google, Bing, Snapchat, Pinterest, and TikTok. There's a 15-day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. There's a link in the description below that's going to bring you to the Shopify app listing directly. You can also search for it on the Shopify app store by searching for profit calc and then looking for this logo in the top left here. Again, there's a 15 day free trial, so make sure you check it out. So this concludes the video here. If you enjoyed it or it helped at all, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.